I don't know what to say. Like, what have I learned? What have I learned to not ever do that again? Tom Sandoval opens up about why he cheated on Ariana Maddox. Hey everyone, it's Hannah Fletcher. Welcome back to Shared News. Let's talk all about Tom Sandoval and why he cheated on Ariana. Now, obviously this is all of course in honor of the fact that Vanderpump Rules season 11 is officially premiering this evening. I am so excited. Let's talk all about what it is that we're learning about Tom. Now, as you guys know, Scandoval took place just about a year ago and it blew up the entire Bravo verse and now we are sitting here chomping at the bit waiting for season 11. Now recently Nick Vile from The Vile Files obviously if you guys haven't seen this podcast you have to check it out. It's a very very good one. I personally love it and I love watching Nick and how he interviews and how he interviews his guest. Now he did mention in one of his previous episodes that he would love to talk about Scandoval and talk to Tom and get him on the show and of course we finally got Tom to be on the show. Now now, Tom opened up about why he cheated on Ariana Maddox, and basically it boils down to the idea of him lacking self-worth. Now, he stated, quote, If you want me to be honest, I love, I love Ariana. I do. I really care about her. But like this person throughout our relationship talked to me like I was down here all the time. And it's unfortunate that like my way of acting out against that was like me also like just getting belittled, belittled, belittled littled all the time. Obviously, that was tough for me to read you guys because there was a lot of profanity in that, but you guys get the idea. He is basically saying that Ariana Maddox belittled him throughout the duration of their relationship. He also claimed later on in the podcast that their sex life was basically inactive for a year. Basically, it was non-existent, and it seems as though he was attracted to Rachel, previously known as Raquel, um, and this whole attraction was an epiphany. Basically, he claims that she is the vehicle that woke him up and made him realize that he's attracted to somebody. That is his side of the story. Now, if you want to take this and compare it to Raquel, aka now Rachel Levis, she is going rogue with her own podcast over at iHeartMedia, which is called Rachel Goes Rogue. And we gained insight to where she's at with this whole situation. And she, according to her podcast and according to her timeline and according to her side, she stated, quote, I expressed to him that I don't like lying. He put me in a really bad position with my friendships and this placement of being on this international reality TV show meant that my reputation was on the line. So obviously we're learning a lot of different information from these two people that were obviously involved in this whole scandal of it all. I'm curious to know what you guys are thinking down below in the comment section. Have you guys tuned into Rachel's podcast? Are you going rogue right along with her? Are you guys believing Tom with this whole belittling situation? I don't know what the heck is going on with all of this. I know one thing I I am very excited to see season 11. I am so, so, so excited for this first episode to drop. I think that everybody is just sitting on the edge of their seat. And as we know, Rachel is not returning for this season of Vanderpump Rules, but everybody else is going to be there. And according to what everybody has said, and according to what I've seen of the trailer, I don't believe that this season is going to disappoint. Let me know all of your thoughts on Tom and Rachel down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you guys give this video a like, hit the subscribe button and turn the those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. As always, I'm your host, Hannah Fletcher. You guys can follow me on social media. My handle's right there on the screen. So come on over and say hello, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.